Uh, welcome, Girish. Thanks, Prana. Uh, we went to look at pricing of currency futures in in this video segment, uh, and this is, uh, uh, one of because the of the interest rate differential, this yes. might be a little uh, tricky, tricky. And, and a complicated. Yeah. Uh, Uh, basically it is a very important uh, segment of this entire session mm -hmm. wherein uh, we are trying to understand the concept of interest rate differential the interest rate differential concept says that uh, when there are two you are talking about definitely two different currencies mm -hmm. so and these currencies are governed by the interest rate of their respective countries so let's let's just write it down interest Rate differential. rate differential and let's let's take examples Love of uh, USD uh, and INR. INR right so for example there is an interest rate prevalent in US dollar say somewhere around 3% interest rate prevalent is 3% and let's say and in INR INR is 6% interest rate is let's say 6%, 6% which is almost double of what we did yes. here now uh, as an arbitrator what would you want to do what comes to your mind when you see these uh, different interest rate and different uh, currencies I mean, I mean, if the currency was the same, I would, you know, like to buy the INR and sell the. Uh, even you, if, even if the currencies are not same, uh, you what what you can do is, you can buy dollars at a cheaper rate. You'll get at somewhere around three percent. Right. Convert those dollars into INR, and uh, invest in Indian rupees, which will fetch you a return of say six percent. So let's say what you're saying is buy dollars, mm -hmm. uh, which can come come at. Uh, whatever price yeah. and you are buying dollars uh, even if you are taking a loan you have to shell out only 3% to buy those dollars so you are saying buying dollars on loan in US at 3% yes and then converting it into rupees and investing in investing in let's say India India and then gaining at 6% 6% yeah right so this and, we are, and, and what we are also saying is that the interest rate prevalent here means that Uh, loans and the investment rates are the same. Yeah, so basically so yes, that is the same. Right. So so if if this is prevalent in the market, right. arbitrager will get a uh, say interest rate differential of three percent. Yeah. So so if you are an arbitrager, mm -hmm. you would like to do this. You would like to take a loan in uh, US. Yes. Uh, at three percent, convert that into rupees, invest in India at six percent. Six percent. So you get an interest rate differential of three percent. Three percent. Absolutely. Now. the interest rate differential uh, theory says that if the spot rate and the future rate are same okay so, so what for example if i say that prevalent today spot rate is 45 and even after one year the future rate would be 45 right then this uh, differential is there in the market and you can easily cash on it that so you're saying spot rate and the prevalent rate remains the same then then this 3% difference not prevalent the future rate the sorry the the spot rate is the future yeah future rate this future rate of 45 both are the same mm -hmm. then naturally this this 3% is is a very sense. easy easy yeah, money for you easy absolutely money. but this is not the case because because there's going to be a difference in the uh, prices of yes. of the so the, the spot so the future, future rate. rate would be some rate it yeah. should be theoretically it should be a rate which negates this arbitrage difference right so if you add this to the base rate right you get a calculation a forward rate mm -hmm. which should be theoretically a rate so that the differential is not there in the market you cannot cash on on that arbitrage so let's let's come back to the notepad and write it down again now what we were saying was uh, uh, and continuing from the discussion yes. that we've had yeah you saying that now, now as an arbitrager mm -hmm. you've made easy 3% just by just by playing that simple game of taking a loan and then investing in india yes now what you're saying is that to negate this to negate this negate this the future rate should be something should have an inbuilt component yeah to negate this definitely that is perfectly and this inbuilt and this inbuilt component is what you call as interest rate differential we'll learn it through the help of an example which would make you 
clear about this concept? So I, I guess this is not very clear. Yes. Uh, a quick recap of what you said. What we are saying was that let's say uh, the interest rates in the US were three percent, mm -hmm. and interest rates in India are at six percent. Then a very simple way would have been to take a loan in the US uh, at three percent, bring it to India, convert it into Indian rupees, and invest in Indian rupees. Yes. And there would be a three percent immediate returns that you would have gained. Yes. If if given the condition that the spot and the future rates are same. Yeah, naturally. So this is assuming that the spot rate and the future rates are same. But there has to be a component which does not allow this. Yes. And that is why we are saying that if you have to negate this, this component, there has to be some kind of an inbuilt mechanism in the future rate mm -hmm. which takes care of this 3% arbitrage opportunity that you were getting. And this is what you are saying is the interest rate differential. Yeah. So if this interest rate differential is added to your spot, you will get a future rate. So you are saying spot plus IRD will be equal to your future rate. Future rate, exactly. This is the whole theory behind your interest rate differential. And this is and this is how futures are priced. This is how futures are priced. So very it's never, 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 never the case that uh, it is a fair pricing, but yes, theoretically it is. It also depends upon other factors like uh, demand and supply in the market. Absolutely. And specifically when we are talking about Indian currency and we have already told you that it is only a partially convertible currency. Right. So these factors are very important. First is the interest rate differential. Second, it also depends upon the demand and supply in the market. I think, I think uh, Girish, for, with a very simple example, you've been able to explain the interest rate differential uh, to us. Yeah. Uh, so let's just have a look at uh, what you were saying. So or perhaps let's let's do this because we've, we've completed interest rate differential in this video mm -hmm. and uh, I'm quite sure that the viewers would have understood interest rate differential in this video. Let's take the other calculations in the next video because I think that will be easier to uh, yeah, we complete. Can do because it would be very clear through the help of an example right. which we will be covering in the next uh, session. Perfect. Thank you Girish. Thanks Pranam.